What's up you guys? It's Sierra Spongia and every Friday I will be doing face mask Fridays where I go ahead and try on different face masks, give you different beauty tips and products, and dish the dirt on the tea that's been going on throughout the week. So let's go ahead and get things popping and see what's really going on with this week's tea. Let's go ahead and get started. So this face mask I'm going to try is for the under eyes. It's a gold foil cannabis sativa oil. And we're going to go ahead and just put it underneath our eyes and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. While I'm leaving it on, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about random shit and dish the dirt on what's been going on this week on social media, what I've been hearing, and maybe possibly give you guys some tips on, you know, how you guys could keep your skin up beauty tips, different products, and if this product is good or not. But we're going to go ahead and let's test it out. Let's try it open. It smells good. Mm. All right, let's see how this works. Ooh, this is cute. So it actually does have the gold foil in it. I'm going to show you guys. Can you guys see that? sure I put it on the right way. Am I supposed to put it on where the gold foil is? Probably not. So we're just going to put it on like this, underneath the eye. for under eyes if you guys have bags and stuff like that it's going to rejuvenate underneath your eyes so that way when you wake up in the morning time or in a few hours you're going to be feeling so nice and rejuvenated and just <sighs> i can't even explain it if you put on a face mask ladies you know what i'm talking about after you take it off like your face is just glowing and just fresh and just oh oh we yes baby but while this is on, let's go ahead and dish the dirt on what's been going on on social media. So everybody has been talking about what's been going on with Quavo and Sweetie, okay? And I'm definitely going to give you guys my opinion on how I feel about this whole situation. To be honest with you, I'm not trying to pick any sides because I'm not that girl, but in that video, Sweetie did swing on Quavo first. He did not put his hands on her. In my eyes, that's what I portrayed. That's what I seen from my perspective of watching the video. Oh shit, this shit is sliding. Ooh. Why they why they ain't tell me this is gonna be sliding? From my from from my perspective, I feel like abuse is abuse. Okay? Abuse comes in different forms. Some people are saying that that's abuse because of how he handled the situation by trying to grab the Call of Duty box and they was fumbling, tugging, playing tongue of war, whatever you want to call it, and she fell on the floor. Abuse is abuse. I don't think that's abuse. Abuse comes in different forms. There's mental, uh, mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse. That right there, I don't think it was physical abuse because he didn't literally put his hands on her. He may have like tried to, you know like when somebody's attacking you, you kind of like stiff arm them. I think that's kind of like what happened. He tried to get the thing and he stiff arm, stiff arm her a little bit too hard and she hit the back of the elevator and kind of fell down. Um, like I said, I'm not like, you know, trying to choose sides or anything because I fuck with both. I like both of their music. Um, mainly I like uh, the Migos because you guys know I like trap shit. But overall, I don't think it's abuse. It was a mistake. Shit happens. Everybody's in a relationship. Everybody knows shit happens in a relationship. Everybody argues with their, their significant other. Everybody at least one time them put their hands on their significant other as a woman. Not saying for a man because I don't condone that for men. Men shouldn't even be putting their hands on women at all. Point blank. Period. Poop. Okay? But in this circumstances, I didn't see him put his hands on her. So... 
You know, it's not really abuse if he didn't put his hands on you. Now, he may be verbally abusing her by saying crazy shit. Who knows? We don't know what the fuck is going on. But I don't think, me personally, I don't think that that was abuse at all. At all. I think this is supposed to go on the other side. Maybe this is supposed to be like this. Maybe that's why it's sliding, y'all. Let's see. But, yeah. All right, you guys. It's been about 10 minutes. So, let's go ahead and take this off. Let's just rub this in. Because ain't nothing wrong with just, you know, rubbing shit in. Ooh. I don't know. I just like the feeling. Love it. Y'all don't mind my freckles. I just started liking my freckles as I get older so whatever little juice I had from my eye I'm just gonna rub it on my face because it's still good so that's what we're gonna do rub it on my face you guys this feels so amazing I'm not gonna lie like my skin feels so much smoother it feels rejuvenated and I think I see something already. I see it glowing. Do you guys see it? Again, this is the face mask I use for my under eye. You can purchase this at Sephora, Ulta, any beauty store, um, any beauty store that sells beauty products, basically. They have different face masks. You can try this one out. I actually like it. It has the gold foil in it. It's cannabis and sativa oil based. So you can't go wrong with that. But this concludes our Face Mask Fridays. Make sure you guys follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok if you don't already. And just go ahead and show some support. You show some support back, I'm going to show love back to you. Love you guys.